Mushkas, ladies and gentlemen. สวัสดีท่านเอกราชทูตอินโดนีเซียประจำประเทศไทยท่านลูฟี่หลาท่านรองปราชญ์กระทรวงวัฒนธรรมท่านจันสุดารัตน์มณีอธิการบดีสถาบันบัณฑิตพัฒนศิลป์ดรเสรีชัยสารฟังชัยบุญและแขกผู้มีเกียรติทุกท่านครับ I would like to welcome and thank all of you for coming to tonight's event, Rhythm of ASEAN, k o l i n t a n g r a d a a collaborative award by the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia to the Kingdom of Thailand, the Ministry of Culture of the Kingdom of Thailand, Mawar Merah k o l i n t a n g r u p and also b a n i p a t a n a s i l v a Institute. Khoa Tonrap t u t a n k a u s u k a m k u Rhythm of ASEAN, d o i t a n j a i r a p s o m k a n s a d e k o l i n t a n g และความรำนาตลอดจนการแสดงอื่นมากมายหรือความร่วมมือระหว่างสถานทูตอินโดนีเซียประจำประเทศไทยกระทรวงวัฒนธรรมคณะมาบาเมราโรลิตันกรุ๊ปและสถาบันบัณฑิตพัฒนศิลป์ To give new access to the performers who will enjoy tonight, please allow me to direct your views to the screen for a brief video presentation about Indonesian c o l i n t a n g Let us now for a moment. Embark and enjoy on a journey from the amazing Thailand to the remarkable of Indonesia. I turn to t h a n a p s o We did not t a l about p a t e n t Indonesia. I love it. 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 Indonesia Ambassador to Thailand, Dr. and uh, President of uh, the Pakistan State Institute, Dr. s r i s h a i Chan o t u m b u l Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, on behalf of the Ministry of Culture of Thailand, please allow me to extend my warmest welcome. To all of you this evening, especially the distinguished artists from Indonesia, Thailand and Indonesia will mark 64 years of diplomatic relationship on March the 7th this year. Over the past six decades of outstanding friendship, the two countries have developed various areas of cooperation. Contributing in strengthening the closer relations between the two sides, through the bilateral exchanges from state to state, both bilateral and multilateral collaboration, to people to people, people level, as well as media and publication, the two nations have enjoyed the results in enhancing better understanding, mutual trust, and sharing of benefits. I am delighted that the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia in Thailand has initiated the r e t m of ASEAN, k o l i n t a n and l a n a n cultural exchanges for today's program, which brings people from two cultural backgrounds closer together. k o l i n t a n and l a n a n are both ASEAN native percussive instruments. That perfectly represent the cross-cultural and historical ties between Indonesia and Thailand. Both instruments appear physically similar, but are different in the ways they are played and produce sound. When played together, I believe it should create a great sense of harmony in diversity. Finally, I wish to express my gratitude. To the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia in Thailand, the Indonesian Music Troupe, and the Patanasin Institute, and distinguished guests for making this memorable event possible. I am confident that the performance this evening will be another level of cordial relation between Indonesia and Thailand that will always be cherished. And great about fruitful collaborations in other areas, a n i f i c i a l to both sides in the years to come. Thank you. And now I would like to invite the ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Lutfi Rauf, to deliver his remarks. 
Excellency, the floor is yours. Dear colleagues, Excellencies, Ambassadors, Kun Chan Suda Group Song Mua, Deputy Permanent Secretary of Minister of Culture, Dr. Sri Chai Chan Pacharum, President of Bundit Patana Silpa Institute, Professor, faculty members, students, colleagues, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, very good evening to all of you, Sadika. <laughs> it is a great honor for the Embassy of Republic of Indonesia in Bangkok to make a collaboration with the Minister of Culture of Thailand, Mundit Padana Silpa Institute, and Mawar Kolintan Group in this special event which is called the Rhythm of ASEAN, Kolintan Rana. In this auspicious occasion, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to the Minister of Culture, Mundit Padana Silpa Institute, and Mawar Merkolita for making this cultural event possible. This cultural event truly signify very good partnership between the Embassy of Indonesia Bangkok, the Minister of Culture of Thailand, Mawar Mera Kulintan Group, and Bandi Patanasi Institute Bangkok. Our cultural events today is part of the Indonesian Embassy annual activity to promote Indonesia-Thailand bilateral relations and at the same time strengthening the social cultural pillar for ASEAN Community 2015. The objective of these events is to expose how cultural cooperations can be enhanced through traditional musical collaborations like what we have today. I hope this event will also contribute to the enhanced people-to-people's -people contact in the context of ASEAN community with this motto, one vision, one identity, one community. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, looking from the broader context, ASEAN social culture community is one of the three pillars of ASEAN community. It's going to be implemented in the full suite in 2015. Its primary goal is to create a people-centered community with a view to achieve enduring solidarity and unity among nations and people of ASEAN by forging a common identity. It can be reached by building a caring and sharing society which is inclusive and harmonious. Indonesia and Thailand, two founding members of ASEAN, can share their cultural diversity, include tangible and intangible cultural heritage such as music, dance, art, craft, language, stories, clothes, textile, artifacts, architecture, architectures, and so on and so forth. Therefore, Indonesia and Thailand should be proud of sharing their cultural richness through their respective traditional music collaborations that can also be extended beyond Indonesia and Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, today cultural event is featuring the artists and dancers from Bundit Patana Silpa Institute and Mawar Mera Kolintan Group from Jakarta, Indonesia. Mawar Mera in Indonesia, we call it also Red Roses in English, is a Jakarta-based Kolintan band established in July 1997, known as unique band like Kolintan interspersed with dances by the players. Kolintan is actually a traditional musical instrument from North Sulawesi, but Kolintan has been popular and played all all over Indonesia. Polinta music instruments can be mixed in harmony with various types of music like pop, jazz, blues, ronchong, Indonesian traditional dandu, and extra etc. Let us get ready for the world tour in Polinta and Rana. Led by Mrs. Bumi Widiati Amro, the majority of Mawar Mera artists are women. They consist of wives of the government officials, businesswomen, and of course, wives and mothers. They play important roles as companions of their husband, active in women associations, active as a mother and as a member of society. In this special event, they will perform as an artist promoting Indonesian culture. The group is also supported by nationally known as the Master of Polinta, Mr. Maurice Tumandu. Please give a big applause to Mawar Mera of the Red Cross. To conclude, Excellencies, 
colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I hear a perfect hope that this event could ignite your patience further for Indonesia. For the rest of our guests, I wish this event could give you an opportunity to embark upon exploring and discovering Indonesia. Thank you. Kapumaka. Ladies and gentlemen, Indonesia and Thailand have enjoyed excellent bilateral relations in the fields of quality, economic, and particular sociocultural. Tonight's cultural event truly signifies a very good partnership and friendship between these two countries. Without further ado, to express this beautiful friendship, I will now proudly present to you all the Bali Patanasil Pai Institute's newly created performance of Indonesian Thai friendship dance, which will be followed by the amazing performances of Kolita and Rice Harvesting Celebration Dance by Bali Patanasil Pai Institute. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 